On behalf of Touch Football Australia, welcome to the National Touch League Referee Briefing. TFA is pleased to advise the 2021 NTL Referee Advisor is Chris Dolahenty. Working with him is a referee coaching panel consisting of appointment lead Ian Matthew. He is joined by David Field, Craig Thomas Schumacher, Joe Lagrande, Adam Foley and David Coe. Leading the upgrades team is Ken Golden, who is joined by Tanya Finlay, Sam Clark, Irene Duval and Greg Taylor. We are blessed to have referee managers Kathy Lang and Julie Wiseman working the referee check-in area for this year's event. Angela Trenary is the TFA referee support personnel. COVID-19 has forced TFA to make a number of changes to referee operations for the 2021 NTL event. On screen are the most significant changes to this year's event. It is critical that all participants and spectators help work to protect each other against COVID-19 by following the steps in the image on the right. Hygiene and social distancing are extremely important at this year's event. Make sure you regularly wash and sanitise your hands and physically distance where possible. The referee contingent and individual teams will operate a little bit differently to previous years. Team leaders will do their best to manage their teams using a number of measures including online. Team meetings can still take place in the referees area. However, at all times individuals are to be socially distanced. Please work with each other to ensure everyone keeps in contact and is supported with their goals and achievements at the 2021 NTL event. We highly recommend you bring your own sunscreen and hand sanitizer to reduce physical contact with other participants. This being said, sanitizer will be provided across the venue for all participants and spectators. Sunscreen will also be available from the referee check-in area. This year, food cannot be prepared on site. Buffet slash self-serve and cocktail style foods are not allowed under the approved industry COVID safe event plan. And therefore, shared referee food will not be provided. There is a canteen, a cafe and other food vendors on site for the duration of the tournament. If you wish to bring your own prepackaged food, there will be two fridges available for referees. A microwave will also be provided. The referee check-in area is located at the northern end of the Southern Stadium. There is a maximum of 10 people allowed in this room at any one time. Please be vigilant in adhering to this. Kathy Lang and Julie Wiseman will be based in this location and will manage check-ins for each game. Scorecards, folders, pencils and sanitising wipes will be available for collection upon check-in. The main methods of communication in the lead up to and during the event are outlined on your screen. TMAP is where official announcements and notifications will be made during the event. Facebook will be updates in real time. If you do not use Facebook, please contact Angela and she will email all these updates to you. Angela can be contacted for assistance leading into the event and during the event. Whilst at the event, your team leader should be your first point of contact as they will be able to assist with the majority of questions. We will now cover off on what the experience will be like for a day at the event for a referee. On entry into the venue on the first morning of the tournament, you will be required to get your name checked off a list and in return you will receive a referee event pass. This is your ticket to moving around the entire tournament site without the need to QR code in and out each time. Please ensure you have this on your person as you move from field to field. Once inside the venue, you will need to visit the referee check-in area to acknowledge all of your appointments. Referees will then need to collect equipment packs for each game no later than 30 minutes prior. The first referee who signs in for a game will be given this equipment pack. Referees will need to meet at their allocated field no later than 15 minutes prior to their game. Throughout this process, please ensure you sanitise, socially distance and remain patient. On arrival to the field, you will fulfil your usual pre-match responsibilities. 
find your buddy, introduce yourself to the team captains and organise the coin toss. In addition to these, you will use the wipes within the folder to sanitise the game ball before the commencement of each game. At the end of the game, you will need to fulfil your usual post-match responsibilities. If you are on an All Abilities game, please remember to select a player of the match, record this on the scorecard and hand the player the voucher. Water carriers scheduled for the next game will be required to report to the allocated field immediately. Scorecards should be given to TFA ground staff wearing fluoro yellow and blue shirts. Please do not take these back to the referee check-in area. The off-duty referees for the next round of games will be required to return the equipment pack to the referee check-in area. Referees are asked to support each other by also registering to carry water for fellow referees and teammates during games. There will be a water carrier roster in the referees area coordinated by the referee managers and team leaders. There will be one water carrier assigned to each game. On your screen you will see an example of the allocation. Water carriers will be required to follow a COVID safe process including sanitising hands, socially distancing whenever possible. Please ensure that in your water delivery you are not impeding on the game itself including players, coaches, the interchange area or entering the field of play. We ask that you stay two metres from the sides of the interchange area and do not cross in front of the interchange area at any time. Referees can attend the event for the duration of the day. Please remember to remain socially distanced whenever possible. We ask that you tidy the referees area prior to leaving at the end of the day and if you checked in via the QR code, please ensure you check out when leaving the venue. Referees are expected to wear the official Inferno uniform. Please remember that whilst you are in uniform, you are very visible to the public. We ask that you represent TFA and the referee contingent as best as possible by doing the right thing and social distancing where practical. Water runners will also wear the on-field uniform. Inferno will have a merchandise outlet at the event where you can purchase either on-field or off-field uniform items. Appointments for Wednesday and Thursday will be announced in the days leading up to the event. Please confirm your allocations with your team leader to make sure you are aware of all appointments including running water. Final appointments will be announced at the referees meeting in the referees area before the final series commence. Note that while you may have departed the venue or not yet arrived, this does not mean you are clocked off. Your team leader may call you to referee another match at any time, so please ensure you have your mobile on you at all times. This is a four day tournament and your services are required for the entire event. That is the completion of the referee tournament briefing. If you have any questions, your first point of call should be your team leader. If they can't assist you or you are a team leader, then by all means, please contact Angela Trenary at Touch Football Australia. She will be able to assist you with your inquiry. We look forward to seeing you all in Coffs Harbour later this week and safe travels.